bat flying in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. It's Minecraft story time. Hello everyone. Merry Christmas and welcome to Minecraft story time. Today, I have what should seem like a rather familiar tale for you, but it is a little different because it's not... Well, it is, and you'll see why. So, without further ado, I present to you The Eve Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the base not a creature was stirring. It, would, it just wasn't the case. The chests were placed near the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Notch soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of carrots danced in their heads. And Mama in her white robe and I in my brown had finally find, found time to simply lay down. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, peering out worried there was some mob to bash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. And what to my wondering eyes was so funny but a craftable sleigh and eight tiny white bunnies with a little old driver so unlikely to botch I knew in a moment he must be St. Notch. More rapid than horses his white hairs they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen to the top of the porch to the top of the wall now dash away, dash away, dash away all as leaves that before the iron shears break, when they meet with an obstacle, to the skies they did take, so up to the housetop, the white hares they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Notch too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof's fresh snowfall, the quietest padding of each little paw. As I drew in my head, and was turning around, down the chimney St. Notch came with a bound. He was dressed all in leather, from his head to his toes, and his clothes were all dyed red, like a rose. A bundle of toys he had stashed in his pack, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry! His troll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round block belly that shook when he laughed like a bull of slime jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A quick crouch of his body and nod of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the chests, then turned with a jerk, and raising his hand to the height of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a call, and away they all flew like a bat down the hall. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And there you have it, guys. A uh, Minecraft version of The Night Before Christmas. So I hope that you've enjoyed this, this particular story. I, I know it's a bit shorter than the ones we've had, but it's Christmas, so go spend time with your family, for goodness sakes. And, of course, Merry Christmas, and as always, I will talk at you later.